r slash ask reddit what are some tips for someone with no fighting experience to win in a fight if they've got their hands down angled slightly and sort of looking away but keeping you in the corner of their eye they're lining up for a sucker punch also blading where they try to turn a side of their body toward you instead of facing head on another is if they start repeating something they just said over and over it's a sign they already decided to attack ain't nobody gonna step to me ain't nobody gonna step to me ain't nobody gonna step to me their brain is in fight mode which puts things like speech on the back burner and they're just looking for the shot to take remember there are no rules in a fight I think the biggest problem for people with no experience is that they have no experience with inflicting harm and thus instinctively only hit symbolically. I once had to disassemble an old cupboard, and I kept kicking at it and it wouldn't go down. When I realized my kicks were afraid of doing damage or hurting myself, and I have to commit and go all in and try to kick through the boards, that's when I immediately got the thing collapsing. That's my purse. I don't know you. Kick. If you aren't in a sanctioned sports competition, there is no such thing as dirty. Most people exhaust quickly in a fight, and you don't want to run the risk that your opponent can last longer than you. Fight quick, fight dirty, and try to finish in 5-10 seconds, since you honestly have 30 maximum. Throw sand in your opponent's face. Can it come from a pocket? If there's no way to avoid it, try to keep a low center of balance and make sure to keep your feet on the ground. Don't kick or anything. Once you lose your balance and you're on the ground, it's over. Edit. Yes. Apparently everyone and their brother has JIU Jitsu training. The question literally says for people with no fighting skills, if you do go down, bring them with you. But generally, try to keep your balance. Aim for the nose. Most people will stop right there if you get them in the nose. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Semicolon Mike Tyson. Don't whip out four lightsabers and start twirling them in circles. Get naked. Pro tip. Naked with shoes is somehow more naked than full naked. Always pull guard. So he doesn't get any points for a takedown. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Statistically, within 20 featuring or so, other way around, Mythbusters even did an episode on it. I took a Rimka self-defense class once, the gist of the class was, avoid fights, don't be a macho man, run away if you have to, if it becomes physical, be very loud to draw attention, your goal in self-defense is to buy time to escape the area, a kick to the groin or palm strike to the nose, eyes or chin are very effective. Footwork is important. Stand so that a punch won't knock you over. Don't lean into a punch. Also know what advantage you have over your opponent. If he's bigger than you, try to move to the side or behind him. Moving's harder for him so make him move. If he's taller, get in close so his reach advantage is taken away. If he's lactose intolerant, throw milk at him. Brother, you told them my one weakness. Milk. Never use haymakers, hooks and football kicks, they're ducking stupid and will get you beat real fast. The trick is straight punches using your hip to throw your arm a bit more. Try to get in close so the aforementioned kicks and haymakers won't be able to get enough power in. Keep your hands up, if you have to dodge go sideways instead of back so you keep the distance advantage. But either way don't get in a fight in the first place. This is the advice you want to listen to right here. Don't try to emulate Mike Tyson and end the fight with one haymaker. You'll fail. Keep it simple. A straight jab to the nose will make your opponent's eyes tear up and can tip the scales in your favor. Go for the sensitive soft spots. Eyes. Ears. Nose. Throat. Solar plex. Groin. Armpits. And frontal part of the elbow. Oh. And don't assume you know how to throw a punch. You'll get boxers fractures. Edit. These are just sensitive points on the body and not necessarily points where you should strike an opponent. Armpits are sensitive because they contain nerves, blood vessels, and lymph nodes. Try pinching that area out gouging your thumb or a pointy object into it. The cubital fossa, frontal part of the elbow, is also sensitive and has thin skin. Eyes are great for gouging as well. Don't assume fights are won solely by striking or grappling your opponent. Also, 
Some of these are only something you should do when you're trying to protect your life. Don't attack someone's throat in a normal scuffle. Protect your head. Fight dirty. Protect your head. At the first chance to disengage. Take it. Protect your ducking head. Get the first punch in. And keep pushing your fist after it makes contact. Protect your mother ducking head. Tuck your chin. Distract. Sucker punch. Are you really going to try and fight me with a cop car right there? Protect your goddamned head idiot. Hands way up. Head trauma is no joke. Protect your head. You punch through something. If you wanna punch a guy in the stomach. You try to punch behind his stomach. If you were to aim for his stomach. You won't hit it very hard. This is good advice. Also if you're throwing multiple punches it's better to focus on bringing your hands back instead of forwards. You'll punch harder. Go for the nuts and eyes. Scratch. Bite. Pull hair. Eyes are eyes. And balls are balls. No matter who is wearing them. Why what did you do? Man. He spilled his lunch on Billy. The school bully. He said he was gonna beat his ass at 4.30 after school so he needs to learn how to fight quickly. The eyes are the groin of the face. Edit. How does this comment have more upvotes than I have karma lol. Edit thanks for the gold nugs guys. Strike. Scream. Run. No no no. Guys. You are not understanding. This guy is standing in front of a person who's trying to stab him still. Looking at his phone. Waiting for answers. Make sure to hit up training mode. Practice your combos. Look up your frame data. It'll help you gain advantage against gym players. Tip number 1. Don't ask redditors to teach you to fight. If the person you are fighting is taller than you, don't try to punch them in the face. Aim for the throat. They won't really expect it and it is very painful. Shoot from a safe distance. Bring a gun. Bring your friends and their guns. But most importantly, bring artillery. Windmill. With your arms. Not your penis. Row. You made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content. Might. It's free and that's a great price. 